Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the all new 2019 Wildwood FSX 190 SS. We're gonna check out the outside features first, then the inside, and do me a favor. If you like this RV and video, hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get started. So to get started, this is a brand new floor plan, and when I first saw it, and I see the two doors on something so small, I thought that was pretty weird. But once we check out the inside, you'll see why that's the most awesome feature on a tiny travel trailer. And this is the first travel trailer I've seen that actually gives you a bed, a sofa, and a dinette on something so small on a 19 footer. Now, tip to tip length is 22 feet, seven inches. That is from hitch to bumper. It is a power hitch. Uh, power tongue jack, I mean. It lights up. You have manual stabilizing jacks, and it is prepped for solar panels. Aluminum corrugated sides with wood frame. Now, this is entry level for travel trailers, but it also is at an entry level price point. The dry weight is 3,475 pounds, and it does have an awning, power awning with LED lights. That's a great feature. Even though it's a small travel trailer, it still gives you a huge awning. And there is the LED lights right there. Great. Not only that, right here into the living area, you have the all new LG solid steps. People love these and they're getting them put on everything. So for this to have that standard is awesome. There's where you fill up your fresh water tank. Uh, there's a radio inside with speakers to the outside if you want that. And then this is a door to the bathroom. So if you are entertaining guests or if you're muddy, right here, you just come in this way, toilet there, shower there, no sink. It's a small travel trailer. But once you see the way the inside is laid out, you will totally understand this and it's the coolest feature ever. Coming around the back, here is where you hook up your city water, and it is already prepped for a backup camera. And then right here is where you have your power, 30 amp service, and then that's right here is where you can hook up the cable and satellite. And then finishing up the outside, you don't have pass-through storage, but it is very deep. It goes all the way down, and this is a ton of storage for a little travel trailer. So the outside looks great, but the inside looks even better and I'm super excited to show you. Let's go take a look at the inside. Great, so before I show you the inside, I wanna take a quick second to thank Eddie Bauer for sponsoring my YouTube channel. They provide me with everything you see me wear. So if you're an outdoor enthusiast, check them out at eddiebauer.com and we're gonna look on the inside. Great, so entering through the front door, right here is a queen size bed. This is awesome. Now, a lot of people don't like these beds because they say they can't walk around it. Well, this floor plan isn't the floor plan for you. You're gonna want one that's this small with a Murphy bed so you can walk around. But this is an awesome bed because now you don't need the Murphy bed when it's like this and you still get your sofa and dinette. Here is where a TV does mount. Here's your windows. You do have privacy blinds and there is a screen so you can have the window open for circulation. Right there, you do have power, and right here, it is a place for you to set your cell phones down while they're charging. Right here, this is your Furion sound system. Uh, you can do it inside and outside. It does the radio, and you're able to sync it up through Bluetooth for your cell phone so you can listen to music. You do have a slide out, which makes a small RV so spacious. And then right here is a jackknife sofa. There you go, easy as that. And then you do have uh, some that. And then you do have that right there in case you wanna put stuff on top. This is your kitchen, it's absolutely amazing. Look how much countertop you have in this tiny travel trailer. I've seen travel trailers three times the size not have this much kitchen counter space. It's amazing. You have storage up there, microwave, there two stove top burners 
Here's your sink here, single sink. It is small, but it's a small RV. You do have storage underneath there. And then this is your refrigerator. It's a small one. Runs off of both propane and electric. Here is your dinette. It's a booth dinette. This does drop down and make a small bed. Uh, one person can sit on each side, unless they're small, then you can fit two people on each side. Over here, there's even more cupboard space, so you can store whatever you want. And then you do have coat rack here. Amazing amount of storage in such a small travel trailer. And here's the... And here's another view of the bathroom. That's the door to the outside. Have a toilet there. Also, new, is they actually put this type of board in the shower. Uh, I don't know, this is a new floor plan, so some of the Wildwood stuff, uh, this floor plan's probably always had that, but I've seen other floor plans without uh, the white stuff. It All it had was uh, this material, and I didn't like that, even though they said it was weather resistant or water resistant, but that is a thousand times better. Finally, to cap this all off, you have a roof mount air conditioning system. This is awesome. It's also a heat pump, and normally in these tiny travel trailers, they'll have a side mount air conditioning. Great, thanks so much for watching this video. Do me a favor, leave a comment below. Tell me if you like this floor plan. Personally, I think this is an amazing floor plan for how small it is. Also, it's an amazing price. If you want pricing, send me an email, matt at leosrv.com or mattsellsrvs at gmail.com or send me a text, 301-906-0962. I always recommend that you buy from your local dealership. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one of my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.